I'm interviewing your replacement. <laughs> Listen, come on, Wednesday. Give, give, give us your reaction, Darren. This horrible <laughs> season. <laughs> You're going to Wembley. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm actually delighted for the um, city of Peterborough, including the council, um, everybody of Peterborough, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I've owned the club for a good few years. I haven't been to Wembley. I know the club have before, but I haven't personally. I've been once to see an England game, so... I'm really, really looking forward to two trips this year. Um, at the start of the season, I wanted obviously one trip, but now I'll take two. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, um, tonight was yeah, it was, uh, I was obviously up in the commentary box doing commentary for TV, and uh, very stressful. Um, <laughs> penalty shootout, horrible. Uh, I almost wanted to go close my eyes, you know, and, and, and plug my ears, and then come out and see who was celebrating and stuff. It's just like, don't know if I have the stomach for it, but my players had the stomach for it. Um, yeah, delighted. Really, really good. Really chuffed, you know. Happy Sh for everyone. Showed real bottle, didn't they, tonight, your players? You know what? It wasn't their best game. Um, they weren't at it like they were late in Orient. But, again, you look at the pitch, you look at the way maybe Swindon played. We had the right ideas of what we wanted to do. I think Swindon did us a big favour going a little bit. Not negative, but they went a bit defensive in the second half, which surprised me because they could have had control of the game. We certainly defensively looked a little bit under the cosh when they were at us, you know, and uh, it allowed us to get back in the game, insert ourselves on the game. Um, and I think the amount of balls we had down the flanks, that final ball was always missing, wasn't it? And you just felt, Litz must have been down there 10 times, and then Craig was down quite a few times. You know, get the ball in there, but I set up in the commentary box, Brit, you get him a chance, he's always going to score yeah. one out of two or whatever else. And uh, it actually took Bozzy in the end to actually do what everyone else couldn't and get down there and actually lob the ball in. That's it, that's all you got to do, get down there, cross the ball in, it's not rocket science. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we score. So, I'm yeah, very happy with that. Um, for the lads, you know, delighted all our families can go to Wembley. But for me, it'll mean nothing if we don't take the trophy home. Yeah, and you, of course, you've got... Ain't there for a day out, you know? I want trophies. Well, it's always <laughs> been one of your ambitions, hasn't it, since you mm, became chairman? Absolutely. You've said it. It's, you set your pre-season targets and winning this the competition. Double. Uh, and I think what's really frustrating is, is that people dismiss um, this trophy too easily. I think too many football clubs in League 1 and League 2 dismiss it. Greg Abbott was up there with me, a lovely guy, and he's won it. And he just said, you know, this is like the FA, our FA Cup of League 1 and League 2. You know, there's a lot of money on the line. It's great for the city, it's good for a club, it's good for momentum. I don't know why people dismiss it so easily. You know, they say it's more hassle than it's worth and they need to put in weaker teams. Uh, for me, it's when you play, you want a football club, you want to win trophies. You want to win trophies and, you know, Peter United, you know, they're not going to be winning the Premier League, the Championship, the Champions League, you know, until I get my act together and make <laughs> a few more quid. So, you know, for us, the best chance to win trophies is to win League Two or win League One and win this cup, the JPT. You know, we were the bridesmaids in League Two, we were the bridesmaids in League One, so we got the playoff trophy and I was happy with that. But I'd like to take a couple more trophies to bed with me. Yeah, absolutely. And what does it do for the for the city? Um, Darren said it, it sort of galvanises everyone. Yeah. And, and you can kind of sense it, can't you? When do you know what the problem is? It's like, because we set the expectation, I talk about us winning the title and winning the JPT, and everyone is now absolutely deflated because we're 25 points off the top, or whatever we are. I don't know what Brentford and Wolves are on. So all of a sudden, the flip side of that, because I'm an optimistic person, I'm an ambitious and I want to win everything. The flip side to it is suddenly the fans start thinking, well, you're having a really, really crap season. Um, we're not playing well, we're not doing well, and there's every reason why the crowds are down and people don't want to come and watch us. But the reality is we're the second highest goal scorers in England. <laughs> second highest goal scorers in England. There's got to be some entertainment value about coming and watching us. And you were saying earlier, you've even fallen into a little bit, the media, but you, I think your words to Darren were, you know, with all the things happening this season and blah, blah, blah. Oh, don't, we've been outside the top seven, have we? No. Have we? No, I agree, but I mean, you But you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. No, you I know it's, it's, it's been, been an up and down. Yeah. No, it's been really, really rough. Horrendous from the point of view of where you're losing four or five games yeah. and everything, the pressure's on you and everyone's having a go. I meant horrendous from the point of view of people having a pop at you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like from that point of view, never mind the results. Yeah. But when you look at it, you're not outside the top six or seven. So as horrendous as it's been, as bad as it's been results wise, and I know you guys get frustrated and things have happened and everything else. I think there's a lot of clubs in League One and League Two and non-league who would love to have that kind of horrendous run. Would you agree with that? Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. And you know what I mean? So, you, would, you know. And you'd say, wouldn't you, because of what you've done over the past few years, you've, yeah, set, the bar, own success. you've set the bar high yeah. and inevitably Listen, people get a taste of it and they want guys, a bit more. You guys want to come and see, you know, 25 chances, 4-5 nil, I do as well. And when it turns out to be a scrappy nil-nil like the, you know, the game the other night against Walsall, you know, everyone's like deflated again and it's like, oh, no wonder the crowds are, you know, down and, you know, serving up that type of football, but come on. Let's give a bit of credit here, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, it was we knew it was going to be tough coming into this league. But like I said to you recently, I think, we're not dead and buried by a long way. Um, 
we want to get back to the championship. I'll, of course, I'll be gutted we don't win the league because that was my aim. Yeah. But I want to go back to the championship. I want to do it for the city. I want to do it for all you guys. It's not just the city, the fans, and everything. It's even you guys, the media. You know, you love coming to look at a championship game and report a championship club, don't you? Yeah. So, you know, we all want the same thing. And I just think, you know, it's been very frac. What's the word? Fractitious this Fractious, season? Fractitious, yeah. Fract you know, yeah. you know, little falling out here and there, whether it be fans, media, whatever. We just don't need to be on each other's side. We all want the same thing. We're not fighting against each other. And I think we've got now, what, 16 league games. We've got a JPT final, three playoff games, 20 games left. And we've got to make sure that we win as many of the 20 games as we can. Do I want us to play better? Do I want us to score more goals? Damn right I do. And other fans do. It'll happen. So we just, I'm not going to use words like... I'm not going to use silly optimistic words, I'm just going to say we've got to get on with it and do our job. I said to you recently, don't write us off just yet, let's keep going and see where it takes us. We've got to go back to Wembley again to do it, so be it, we'll have to do it. I'll be a nervous wreck again. <laughs> well done, enjoy it tonight. <laughs> I appreciate it.